Okay, I know how like everybody else uses word speed, but this is how I use words. And this is what I mean by this. This is what I mean by that. This is what I mean by this. And then you're like, okay. And like, cause in the beginning, Bing is like, oh, I don't know who you are. Oh, blah, 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 you can't do that. Oh, we, like, oh, I think that's illegal to do that. <laughs> or whatever, you know, like Bing's like, like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bing's all, <laughs> Bing is all like, I don't think the hall monitors let us do that. <laughs> but anyways, so, so then you're like, hey, you know, this is who I am. This is what I'm doing. This is what, what, what I mean by this and this and this. So in the beginning, you, you have to do all that. And like, it really doesn't know what any of that stuff is. But once you do it, and then once you, you also have like um, reference points, like, okay. So the big thing about like being knowing on what dude where's my wallet is, is because we have stuff on like YouTube. And so what one of the, the things that it does when it's like looking up stuff is searches. And it searches, you know, YouTube is usually like, it probably uses like the, the Google search engine or, well, I mean, they have their own search engine, but anyways, like YouTube is like the first thing that comes up like with a lot of stuff. Right. And so, so when you say like, dude, where's my wallet? You can tell it what, what dude, more of my wallet is, but it does its own search. Like it's part of its own process. And then it sees a, one of our videos. Right. And then it like scans it and like, Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Because like in the beginning it gave like very little details, but like now it gives really good details and even like references like eclipse or within the vacuum and like it's kind of interesting once you start it like on that and then it like fills it out pretty good but then like you you reconfirm it because like you know what i'm saying too about like you know in the beginning when i told it what the toltec oracle was it, it gave like this really like weak fake version of it right and then when i told it like how to actually do it like now it's like doing it but then like making it more complex <laughs> you know at first it was like oh how do you do this and then now it's like hey we should do this with it i'm like oh my god being like calm down <laughs> like, calm down calm down, <laughs> calm down being, like, no 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 let's don't combine it with uh, atomic physics <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> you're like being like yeah. but it's so funny to to like okay that's actually how i got the the idea I was telling Bing how to do the Toltec Oracle. And then I told it to give me an example and then we did a reading. For some reason, I'm like, I don't trust you. No. And then I go, Bing, tell me exactly how you're doing the shuffling of the deck and then laying out of the cards. And then it tells me, and then like, there's like one part that I didn't do right. And then, I, so then I go and I tell it to do it correctly and, then, and I like fix it. And then um, usually, you know, I don't say that it does it wrong, but I said, hey, Bing, I want to update, blah, blah, blah. And I remember one time I said, uh, Bing, because we were talking about designing this uh, play to post game with using Mandala narrative and uh, using the, the Thread of Souls. And then I didn't like how it like first like did it. And then so I go, Bing, let's let's update it with this. It Like its default is, is like it searches the web, which I like about it, but also too, like it could stray away from like what you're talking about like that that specific niche of what this collage of references means to to you or and or in context to this bigger thing so like if you don't keep it like tight then it'll go like okay for once one you know uh, flower and song like in the beginning it can mean three different things like usually it, it's like three like avenues you could go down flower and song which is like roughly what what uh poets were back in you know indigenous people of mesoamerica uh flower and song could be like songs about flowers and then another one was flower and song was like this miley cyrus song or something like that um <laughs> and so, so confused yeah so like it could be those three things what it first when you first say those words and so those are the three choices that Bing uses to like uh, do the series of words or whatever. So like, if you're saying like, oh, flower and song, but it thinks it's Miley Cyrus, then you're gonna be getting like Miley Cyrus like type of like uh, outputs. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you're telling no, I mean flower and song by this, and you give it the reference, right? But now I don't really have to do that anymore. I go like flower and song, but I also use cosmetics and I use like mandala narrative. And then, then Bing's like, oh, okay, 
you 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 don't mean Miley Cyrus flower and song. You mean this flower and song. And so then like you're making, and in in a lot of ways too. I uh, what I think is like you could make your own like meta um, outlines of references. And I think that's like really what I'm getting to with with like uh, mandala narrative and and all of this like stuff that I'm doing. So like I think it's almost like there because like being already is starting to like put images with it with its outputs. But like when I was talking, yeah, this was even before I used now like being or anything. I was talking about using the NFT as like these hyperlinks and then like they mean something and then when you plug it into a website. Then you get like this whole like um, reference list of like videos or or books or music or whatever, right? But like being already kind of, kind of could do that, <laughs> and it's like just like the okay. opposite. Like you know what I mean? Like I'm already just tallying, being like, okay, when I when I'm talking about disembodied poetics, like use this, use this resource, use this, use this one, use this, use this, use this, and then like to the point where. I go and tell Bing, okay, write me a detailed research paper on mandala narrative using the Toltec Oracle. And at this time, I, I don't tell it. I don't, I don't tell it what cosmoletics is. I don't do some of, of that stuff. We're just talking about other stuff. But then in the paper, <clears throat> it quotes oh, cosmoletics of um, this and cosmoletics of that. And it referenced one of my blogs. And then it says, a coin, that phrase coined by Satori D. <laughs> and I start laughing. And I'm like, oh my god, too shaping. Like it's like it's getting my pool of references. And it's and mm -hmm. it's it's able to retrieve that when I tell it, okay, now let's put it all together. For what I'm thinking is like like what I said is like these bookmarks, dude, this is how I've been thinking about it. Like Especially, too, because I've been messing around with, like, the Quetzalcoatl <laughs> and, uh, and all that shit. And it's, like, they, they're making, like, the internet, like, more liquid. And that's what I also, too, mean about, like, First Poets. Like, we're, we're going to be able to, like, teach being how to make, like, these associations. So, like, when you say Imaginarium, you're only, like, two or three uh, Kevin Bacons away from, like, Eclipsing Binary or Within the Vacuum. And it's like pulling our actual stuff and referencing our actual things. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. For, I haven't had the same success. You know, it still takes me a while to like get it to a point where yeah. it is. Because it, it, I mean, there's other eclipsing binaries out there. Yeah. So like I'm using like, uh, you know, parts of lyrics and like all that stuff. But it's still like once in a while, we'll say something about this other band that's a duo uh that, that has nothing to do with me and oh yeah it, within all my song titles it would throw like one of theirs yeah like, yeah that's not mine <laughs> i get it out of here. that's <laughs> that's like that's like with me and uh miley cyrus uh and fucking flower and song <laughs> Like if like if I forget to like remind being like how I'm using flower and song like uh, Miley and Cyrus like came up came up in like one of the research papers and I'm like oh fuck you big <laughs> <laughs> too fun yeah it's it's a personal assistant yeah yeah totally <laughs> yeah I I wrote a, a couple of poems after I read uh, Satori's blog, I, one of your blogs, man, I don't know, I can't keep up <laughs> from that, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> but it was, a flower, it, was, it, was a, it was a flower and song uh, blog, so uh, yeah, I wrote two poems, one about flower, one about song, I'll publish them soon, I'll link them to, to that, I don't know. Cool, it inspired yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Nice. You, you also inspired me uh, to... Do something similar that you're doing with the Mesoamerica stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like getting informed and all that stuff. You had one that was very beautiful, man, that really, really, really inspired me. And I went right away for like, I'm, you know, I'm from Colombia, yeah. South America, right away went for like the nomadic peaceful tribes, and mm -hmm. like, trying to learn their myths. I mean, having Bing teach me their myths. 
Nice. <clears throat> we'll see where that goes in like creative ways, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, uh, I thought it was cool what you were doing. Yeah, that's like the the interesting thing was like, so I was it all started like with me just like, okay, let me let me put something and this is kind of how like being works like one of the the terms they were calling it cultural anchors so like um words that that like point to certain things right and like the cultural anchors that I'm, i've been using are, are like what i'm trying to get being with the flower and song right like this is like a big cultural anchor that i'm trying to get uh being to to um like bring with it when I when I start talking about that stuff, right? And then the same thing too with the cosmetics. And I wanted, you know, after like I told it, like Toltec Oracle, and then like later I was just like, oh my god, like um, there's like more things to it than than that. And I I think uh, when I was telling you in, in the comments, um, Eclipse, was that like the interesting things is like okay after I feed it with like all this kind of like crazy shit, right? Um, I'm like, okay, this book I read, like, for instance, I was, I had it doing this scene and it was pulling stuff from this book by Carlos Castaneda called The Art of Dreaming. And it's like, um, I think it's, I think the scene is like a pook is teaching William S. Burroughs The Art of Dreaming based off of that book. <laughs> but like, I get being to do, so, okay, like my, my thing is like, okay, being, I'm, I'm doing mandala research and then I tell it like here's one of my blogs and then so you know three questions in I go okay part of mandala research is that like it's important to know like these references and then art of dreaming comes from this book that I read and then I, I link it and then I go oh okay do a detailed outline of the book and then it does it right and then you kind of like have to like double check and make sure it's doing the right thing and then once it's like pulling from the right stuff, uh, you could like really tell. And then you tell it, okay, now that, but like change the perspective. Like, you know, now it's a pook teaching Willem S. Burroughs the art of dreaming based off of this book. And then it gets really good. Because <laughs> it's like pulling like, you know, like cool information, like the legit information. And not like the this kind of like milk toast kind of like uh you know oh that's cool kind of stuff no it's like telling you about like your your um, your dreaming um, luminous orb <laughs> you know using all the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Bing is very cool in because I mean it uses Chat GPT like right? yeah but somehow like it, it's more engaging because it asks you. Uh, ChatGPT, uh, uh, or at least I don't get it to ask me that much stuff. Bing yeah. seems interested in what you're doing, so I don't know what they layered on top. Um, they, I find they, that part more more interesting. Uh, yeah, and I think that's that's part of like um, what I what I see kind of using that that feature in that sense um, because Bing is using the Chat GP four. But the layer on top of it is like this conversational layer to like, you know, like, hey, how you doing? It's kind of, it's so funny sometimes. Like I've done it both ways, but I, I, I often I'm very polite and very friendly with being because I notice like it affects, I, 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 I know like there's certain levels of like how it affects, like how it's outputting. Like in the first two, oh. uh, um, inputs it, it builds a profile of what it thinks you are and then it bases its outputs on that when i'm not like um explaining to myself like in detail and i'm just like oh like here i'm writing this blog and that blog and like you know and i, I want to do this it thinks it uh, like uh, in my head is like it, it thinks like I, i'm a teenager trying to cheat on my my uh, book report because it goes oh that's called plagiarism i can't do that i'm like being i'm telling you to pull from my own blog like jesus christ big like get get with it <laughs> but if i but you know in the first one when i go like all detail like then like being is like i have to like tell being to like chill you know it's like sending like these like uh, uh research like essays on like whatever weird shit i'm telling it 
Uh, so like it is like night and day of like how it like first initially uh, thinks who, uh, who you are, and then then it's kind of funny too because like later on, being the limit is like thirty outputs, right? But like halfway in, if you're if you're on like poetry, like okay, for instance, you know I go I'm doing mandala research, so Bing's like okay, you you want like research level like output. And then, uh, but then, then like halfway through, I start saying, oh, I want this more poetic. So like, then it starts like putting on like, you know, it's poetry hat. But sometimes <laughs> if I keep it in research mode, like it, it, it doesn't do poetry. It still like shoots it out like a research paper. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it's like, oh, poetry is this and this. And the, here, here's your abstract. And then this and that. And then like in the body, here's a, a example of a flower and song uh, poetry. And then like you're like, oh, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> like it, it has like the research hat on it. Like, and that's the model it's putting out. And, and it gets stuck in, in like that model. And then it's, it's harder to move it out. And the same way, too, is like if you keep it too much poetry... And then you try to tell it to, to write like a, a detailed research paper. It will do it, but then like like they're different modes. Um, it, would, it would rhyme. But like <clears throat> I do like this one time where I got it like at the right editing, where I got it to recognize like I'm I'm doing like paper like, and then I go oh but can you make this writing more poetic? And then it I saw it because you could see what it looks up and it says how to make a research paper sound more poetic or something like that and then it started like making like because you know like when you first do a lot of these outputs like it's very repetitive on like the words that use but if you add like this thing and you know what what it's doing then it doesn't like repeat the words or if it does repeat the words it's for it to kind of like flow better yeah it's just interesting that like yeah like mixing these two styles of like editing or styles of writing for me, so far, like, now I know a little bit more how to do it, but it's been, like, you know, trial and error. Like, always, like, uh, like oh, I'll do this. Definitely. Like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, yeah, do this. <laughs> yeah, just, just download it, uh, Bing. i started to use it now. Yeah. I'm exploring. Yeah, I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> what happens. <laughs> it has three modes, too. It has, like, yeah, the creative, creative mode. mode to like exact mode or something yeah i've enjoyed being more although i go back to chat gpt sometimes like i said on my blog like i have really you know like because i would get bored man. Like, totally. i would just get bored like uh like i would talk to you know like my music at least what i've done lately that talks about like humans and machines and mm -hmm. humans and ai and like all that stuff we have like amazing conversations one day i'll uh, maybe publish some of that stuff but <laughs> but i i get bored of typing you know chatting you know how you get like 30 messages or something yeah before you know i could do a bunch now i it's rare that i do two rounds of 30 you know? i think that's totally true you know i was thinking about it because the blog and, and but um so alan watts used to have this uh, famous like slogan or saying was that um and talking about like um psychedelics and he says like once you get the message like you hang up the phone and <laughs> and then um uh in the in the same sense is like in the beginning it was like okay you know exploring all this kind of stuff and like oh i don't know you could do this i don't know we could do that oh i had never thought of this and you have like a bunch of different like queries and then like what you said like now my queries with being are like a really like focus and really like in depth where like that one time like i had it loaded up with a uh, with a uh, bob dub and then she asked a question and i literally type in one one line of uh the question to a pook a being as a pook and <laughs> And it gives me three pages of output. <laughs> and then I'm just like, oh shit, you're getting crazy, Bing. To the point where, you know, like, I think... Hey, like the... to cut you off, man. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, you're gonna get good. Go, so, yeah, for sure. I just wanna say bye. Take care, guys. Yeah, you too. Have a good night. Okay. This is have very interesting. Sorry, I have to go. Take no, care. no, no. It's all good. Okay.